Hi everyone, I'm Louise Amo. I'm the Global Lead of Sustainability Research at Integra Group and co-author of CITCTM65 entitled Embodied Carbon of Building Services, a Calculation Methodology. CITCTM65 is a method to enable consultants and designers carry out embodied carbon calculations for mechanical, electrical, plumbing products in a consistent way when no EPDs environmental product declarations are available. In this technical memorandum, we also explain what EPDs are about, how to use them, how to compare them, how to find them, how to create them. EPDs are definitely the way to move forward. But SIPSI published this guidance because embodied carbon of MEP matters, and it is currently completely ignored because there are very few EPDs available. TM65 does not aim at replacing EPDs, but rather allows initial embodied carbon estimates for MEP products to be made to enable research and learning in this topic. TM65 provides a consistent approach for MEP products. What information to ask to manufacturers through a manufacturer form? What steps to follow to carry out embodied carbon calculations of the product? There are two methods possible depending on the level of information provided by the manufacturer, a basic and a mid-level calculation method. The basic is much easier, but therefore less robust and less detailed. And then how to report the embodied carbon impact of your product through a reporting form. DIPCTM65, published early 2021, was written in a UK context. Therefore, some assumptions are bespoke to this very specific context. We are about to release two addenda to this technical memoranda. The first one on how to use CIPCTM65 outside the UK. This document it will be for local institutions or professional bodies outside the UK that would like to use TM65 method in their region. It provides the different steps and what assumptions to change to make it relevant locally. The aim is to create global consistency with relevance locally. The second document that we're about to publish as an example of a locally specific addendum is how to use CIPCTM65 in Australia and New Zealand. The Australia and New Zealand CIPCTM65 addendum was developed by a local technical working group and chaired by GBCA and CIPC Australia. When no EPDs are available for MEP products, evidence of completing the TM65 process will be required in the Green Star rating submission within the Responsible Systems Credit. Adopting TM65 in Australia and New Zealand is the first step towards understanding the embodied carbon of MEP products in the region. It allows a simple, cost-effective and consistent methodology for approximating the embodied carbon emissions of MEP equipment and for aggregated data to be collected for benchmark purposes. Thank you very much.